there it is. We are back. Over where? All right, we're going to ride back, and we're going to continue doing some of these missions. Ooh, Mr. Still, you've got a new keyboard. <laughs> oh, Mr. Still, you're... While I'm all muddy, my horse is all muddy. I'm just a muddy mess. Five and a half hours to destination. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, on ATS. Uh, then you're close. Oh, the O'Driscolls, huh? Aw, oh, Chappie, have a good night. Hope you feel better tomorrow. You love ATS 1.36? Well, I'll be doing it on Thursday, so. Yeah, I probably should get close to Utah, too. Yeah. A giant, ooh, a giant centipede, yikes. I'd be afraid of it, but. All right, heading home. You know I'm no good at this route. Who, hat. Who needs a hat? Come on, horse. Stay on the rails. Poor JC. He's just, he's been on the road for like three weeks at a training session. Two weeks? He just wants to go home. I don't like insects at all. Yep. <laughs> JC said ATS Utah Farm Sim Call of Duty three day weekend. <laughs> Sorry, Jer. Yes, honey? Your pandas are what? Maybe they're infertile or something. Weird. I thought that this would be the fastest way home, but it wasn't. I thought going the southern road would take us there faster, but it just definitely didn't. So let's run a couple of these missions. Whoa. It's hopping. Don't shoot me. They get trigger happy when you come through here. Look out, little bunnies. Hey, me. It's me. Hope you've been good out there. Nope, I've been terrible. Hey, Arthur. <laughs> hey, what, Javier? Oh my god, all these missions. Let's see here. All right, let's see what this guy wants first. The you Whoa. uncle. Ow, whoa, whoa. Careful not to work yourself to death there, uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, Fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur. <laughs> do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks 
now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? Uh, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> the of it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. It's great. It was wonderful. Let's right. go. You know the way? Yeah. Nope. The we'll figure it out. I didn't have one drop of drink, thank you. I was just happened to go in there, and they were fighting, and uh, they're my friends, so I decided to help them. No alcohol needed. I, I have no idea where I'm going, actually. Would you people shut up? I'm just staying on the road. I know where I'm going. Just, I'll get there. You just relax, ladies. Just be quiet. I know where I'm going. Yep. See, I told you. Now we're headed the right way. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. What is going on with that? Let's see. Come here, horsey. Come here. Oh, that's right, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting song. Good thing I had the lyrics right on the screen. Easy, boy. Easy, horsey. Easy, horsey. My thing is gone. Pat him. There, boy. Good boy. Yeah, there. You got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. Not a problem. I do this thing all the time. I enjoy helping people. So it was good to be a kind feller. Did you catch the other one? Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Have a good day. It's true. How big are they, honey? Are they huge? Come on, let's go. Oh. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, I'm still tough. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you have it, your pulse bolt lizard. Huh. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. Well, there's your train. If you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. Moni has giant centipedes in her zoo. You need to stream that. Maybe I'll... Can I stream it tomorrow if you're not going to? No? Well, then you got to stream it tomorrow. You should. Or is that uncle? Hey. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Okay. Other people, fires. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around. A centipede's an insect. Let's see what we got here. Great, Babs. I know. <laughs> Go left here, down the main street. Yes, sir. On the right. sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. I would love to. I've tried. You put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get <laughs> some mischief here. Oh, my God. Her panda is finally pregnant. Hallelujah. No, not Zoo Tycoon. Zoo Planet Zoo. You did get really excited. All right. Well, what, you, what are you doing, you moron? Why did you walk in front of the... What are you doing? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> keep turning and he keeps walking in front of it. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to run you over. Right. I need to get something from the stores. Okay. Well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, please. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> but I know you love me. I do. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. <laughs> Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. All right, what are we doing? Afternoon. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah. That guy should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. Yeah. You look a I... bit tired. Pick up some coffee while we're here. Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Hey, ain't you the fella who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? No. Yeah, that all got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. <laughs> sure, well, these things happen. And that was some good viewing. <laughs> Don't reckon Polk ever seen Tommy lose a fight before. <laughs> well, it's all done now. You not getting anything, Arthur? I, I will. Know. Maybe. Three babies? Three All right. Dry goods. We need to get some. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Ground well, coffee. This here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Who? So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. <laughs> it's all done. Thank you kindly. Wait a minute. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. You sure you can buy the horse brush here? You do it. Let's go wait for them outside. I don't see it. Horse care. There's nothing in here about horse brushes. 
Uh, I need a new hat. Whoa, those are expensive. Hmm. Big Valley hat. <laughs> all right, Viking, have a good one, man. We'll see ya. <laughs> That's all right. Big city hat, Paragon Town, high crown bowler hat. Cavalier. Estate boss, let's see. <laughs> That's true. Well, you still get to keep your hat, but. I'd like to buy some nice clothes, dress right, make yourself look pretty. I like that one. Yeah, the bowler hats are awful. Let's do that. Let's look at some coats. That was the wrong button. If you lose any of the optional hats. Really? I've never lost a hat. You, I, I think they go into your inventory, and once you go into your inventory, you can always, ah, uh, you can always just get them back. Well, at least when I played it on the Xbox, that's how it was. Panda birth. Poor panda's not feeling so good. Um. Duster coat, scout jacket. I wonder if any of these are actually winter jackets. I don't want to get a winter jacket. Classic frock coat, shotgun coat, the fancy tail coat. What is a worsted coat? Oh, I like that. Oh, nah, that tweed, that's wrong. That looks good, though. I kind of like that that first one. They have Moni's panda bear had baby pandas, and it's cute. I'm trying to look and see what goes with my hat. They're pretty cute, admittedly. And we need a shirt. I love doing this stuff. I love Let's see here. Union suit. French dress. Collar over shirt. That's right. Ooh, that's kind of nice. And let's see here. Pants. Your clothes still get messed up, but then when you change them, they get cleaned. So pick some pants. Work pants. Buffalo girls, won't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? Jeans, that's what we want. Oh, they're already ripped up. Yeah. They're just gonna get don't get too don't get too tied to them. Padded saddle work pants. That's too many different patterns. It doesn't I don't oh multiplayer might. I don't know. They maybe they might. Looks like they wet their pants there. That's not great. Ranch pants. Oh. Nope. Well, I'm trying to get an all together outfit. Oh, I like those. View right trigger.
That's too red. Uh, it's like painting your tractor, man. I just can't. The blue jeans do work, don't they? I don't mind that. And last but not least, let's look at boots. <coughs> Get some nice riding boots. Tanker, thank you for the cheer. Have fun, Tanker. Blue and white tee. <laughs> That looks pretty good there. The boots match the hat. I'm happy. I got a full outfit now. I'll probably get yelled at for having a new outfit, but there we go. I think they yell at you at the. There we go. Now we look much better. Let's head out. Sir. And my fancy <laughs> outfit. Off that mountain. Absolutely. I guess Dutch dress is nice. It's funny world. <laughs> this time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. <laughs> <coughs> uh oh. Gentlemen. You've been drinking again. I snuck into this fancy no. house. <coughs> Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. I don't know. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich Wait, what do you want? Sand and Nan and cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train late. I think you should have turned it on. Passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Oh, good. Another train heist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. Right. It's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Where's Tilly and Ken? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. <laughs> Seemed easy. Uh, Nothing good for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. There's trouble. You know it. There's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who mm. are you? A friend of mine. Friend of Tilly's. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away with Uncle Amanda's. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. You're welcome. I didn't mean to pull my gun, by the way. Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Let's find out, Karen. Excuse me, folks. Like my fancy new digs. Can I help you, sir? Your sympathy spread? <laughs> Jerry said should have killed him. <laughs> it's not the Wild West, man. Oh, yeah? You think so, Jer? Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Oh, oh, right. sorry, sorry. Potty break. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Which? Take it. Well, hurry up, Arthur. A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I'll show you. Oh. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> that ended him pretty quick. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just. Man, but stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Oh, a bank? Most small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. There you go. 
Karen got us some leads. We're going to search the drawer. I wanted to beat him around a little bit, but he died too quick. <laughs> wow. Now it's empty. Nothing, huh? Nope. Hey, you're worthless. Plays the same with every player. I don't know. I think the fights go differently, though. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Just fine. It's good. Everything's just. All right, come on, sweetie. Thank you, Arthur. Way to get your clock block like knocked being off. Safe, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Possible. Oh boy. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be oh careful, boy. Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Stay oh, it's a horse chase. Oh, sorry about your chickens. Sorry about your hay bale. I don't want no trouble. Yeah, yeah. Get your rope ready. Oh, whoa. You should have kept your mouth shut, boy. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. <laughs> yes, me too. Oh boy. Please pull me up. Please. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. All right. Quit your whining. Come on. I'm probably going to regret this, but. You okay, partner? <laughs> no. <laughs> he said no. No, I am not. Poor guy. I'm a mess. <laughs> you just no. said shoot him. <laughs> you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... <laughs> Jared, keep him quiet. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. Oh! <laughs> I killed people. <laughs> Maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not Throw him over. Now, Toss him out. Never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. Oh. I've got a good memory. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Not, not one lick, not one sense in this year old mind. <laughs> Lies and more. Come on, come on. You have a nice day now, sir. You too. Come here, horsey. Yeah, here we go. 
I need to take you back to town. You don't belong to me. Yeah. We'll give him back. We're good like that. Sorry about your horse. Sun's going down on another day. Well, that was an action-packed afternoon, was it not? We uh, took the ladies into town, had to rescue them because they got into trouble. I know, Jer. I'm a nice cowboy. I try not to hurt people. You too. Who's that, this guy? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing. Of course I was. Appreciate it. <laughs> of course I was. There's a question mark up here. He said you really were just borrowing it. <laughs> Alright, what's this all about over here? Let's see a question mark at the saloon. It's gonna be nighttime though, it's gonna be time to go home soon. happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton <laughs> twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail. Yeah, I was together. born in 73. What do you think about pigs' penises? They're curly like their tails. <laughs> ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <laughs> <sighs> this isn't going very well. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy the. Calloway. One and only, ladies and gentlemen. The gunslinger. The gunslinger. The fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 Edit. men in a fight at Lucy Hall. Nah, hey, we're just going to leave it. This mean? game, I mean, it is what it is. I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? <laughs> the joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. I don't. But you are a gunslinger. I am a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. Mm. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Flacco. Billy Midnight, Billy Black Midnight. Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest. That's a cool mission, actually. They get uppity. Shoot him. Yeah, they're made up names. Worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book. If you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Here are some other flop house. Well, that cost me 50 cents. What? Billy Midnight. <laughs> 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 
What's up, Phil Gritter? Yeah, long time no see, man. Where's my horse? I no longer. Because I'm dying. Good evening, partner. Good evening. How you doing? Well, I might as well just hole up in town, I guess. We'll go to the hotel. Evening. Evening. Oh, interesting. Okay. Evening. Well, just I could steal a horse, I guess, but I won't do that. Take a bath. All right, we're gonna go in here. No, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really wow. need any more trouble. I didn't come to make it. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? I said yes. Where do I go? No, I didn't want to. I'm going to get clean. Sounds like terrible things go on in this hotel. People yelling. Oh, feels good. Get all clean. Would you like someone to take over for you? Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm all right, I, I don't know what that entails. Oh, sure, no I think we'll just do it ourselves. <laughs> I'll have to find out offline what that does. Scrub your left arm, scrub your right leg. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. I am my stamina has increased because I am clean. This is so relaxing. I'm gonna go take a bath in real life. That was excellent. I feel so refreshed. And now I can go to bed, clean as a whistle, in this muddy, dirty world. I'll rent a room for a buck. Ooh, can save, progress, and change outfits. Sweet. Good night. Weird people things going on here. Well, Nothing. <laughs> Strange things going on next door. In my hotel. Uh, what? Shut up. I'm trying to sleep. Go to bed. Somebody ransack this room. <laughs> sleep till morning. <laughs> Go to sleep. Hi, puppy. Mm, such a good puppy. He's a good little puppy. And so the night passed once again. Day three arrives. 
Since we got down off the mountains, I'm clean and I'm away from camp. I should probably go go hunting to get him some food. I love the pace of this game. This is you can see why I like it. I like these slower moving games. It's there's definitely fast paced moments, but it has this like relaxed like I don't know how to explain it. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I need to find a horse. Well, so we still don't have access to the uh, to the horses. Welcome. How you doing, butcher friend? We'll just walk, I guess. Well, that's where we slept. Wait, what's going on here? I hear some trouble. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys. You pay the O'Driscoll boys. Mm -hmm. I made it right with you, I swear. Well, <laughs> I guess you forgot hmm? about it. Looks like you need a lift. Uh, uh, you walked away. You might have just saved my life, stranger. Of course I am. I'm, I'm going to see to my aliens. Thank you, mister. You're welcome. These are Driscolls. They're just garbage. Yep. We'll lead them. Thank you. Yeah, you run across them here and there. They threaten people. Scared his horse. That's probably the O'Driscoll horse right here. How's this horse? You okay? I think this belonged to Mr. O'Driscoll. Yep, I think that belonged to that O'Driscoll boy. So, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube, hopefully you enjoyed this video as we played Arthur once again. I'm going to head back to the camp and uh, visit and start the next mission. We'll get some missions done, and then we'll hopefully be able to have some uh, stuff unlocked. But if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, always help. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you in the next exciting episode of Red Dead Revolver. Right, Red Dead Redemption 2, yeah, right.